not talk about Seb anymore. Oh, deflection, that means yes. Mm. Deflection. She can deny it all she wants, but it's quite obvious to us she still hasn't moved on from her relationship with Seb. Oh, and look who's arrived. What are the chances? You've had ups and downs, and I feel like you've had a bit of a breakthrough the last time we came in with the whole Seb chat. Yeah, 100%. So we kind of want to make sure that we've dealt with everything. But we dealt with it. We have dealt with it, yes. Mm. But you guys haven't. Who cares? Well, we do. Hello, celebrity dating agent. Hello, Thomas, it's Sebastian. It's really stopping you move forward. Don't say it. I'm going to say it. You're not going to say it. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Oh, how are you? Seb is here. We're going to call him don't down. Don't ring that phone. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't you dare phone up there. He's coming. No, you guys are taking a piss. I'm not doing I'm just not doing it. He, he's Tom, walking in. Tedan, would he's you send just, Seb down? Yes, I will. Yes, lovely. If he walks in that door, I'm going to walk out. <laughs> How are you? All right. I'm really sorry. There's no space on the couch. There's just no space. That's it on the floor. <laughs> oh. the Be nice. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Really? This is a surprise again. <laughs> Not the time, Seb. We were just explaining that there Ooh. seems still to be some unfinished business in terms of the, the relationship you are in. Talia and Seb are both our clients, but neither of them can truly move forward until they address their issues. We went out when we were younger, and there was nothing more to it. We ended, I moved on. Mm -hmm. He never disappeared. Mm -hmm. End of. And how do you feel about Seb? Do you feel warm towards him or indifferent or...? <laughs> I feel like it's a bad dream that won't end. What's so <laughs> bad about it? You comment. You comment on every single one of my mum's Facebook posts. It's like, we ended, but he's still in a relationship with my family. Mm-hmm. makes me sad. Not one of us would ever say we're wrong, and that's the problem I probably most of the time was. I need something specific that you said that might have been hurtful, that you regret saying. Well, pro probably I don't want to see you again. When you're young, you say a lot of stupid things, and ultimately, I really regret it. If Seb was a friend and that friend spoke to me the way he did, I would never see that friend again. I do apologise though, like I, w I was obviously nasty to you and you were nasty to me as well, let's not forget that because you c I can't have an argument with myself, can I? And I do apologise for the way I must have spoken to you. He made me feel this small. Didn't if you happen. were really sorry, you wouldn't have ever brought me up and they would have never known because I never mentioned you. Not once. That's why we're here. Because I pretended that you didn't exist. Because I, I was so upset by it, and I want to blur that part of my life out. Do you want to know how Nadu and Eden have found out that you and I had been together? Is because I said I've only ever loved one girl in my life, and they said, what was her name? I said, Talia, and they said, she's on the agency. That's actually what happened. You can go and ask them yourselves. <laughs>